Chapter 7 Growing Plants Ponder a while do all plants grow from seeds where can you find seeds in a plant do all fruits and vegetables have seeds how does a plant grow on its own how do seeds scatter in different areas what do you think people used to drink when there was no tea plants are essential for our life we depend on them for variety of things the most important of which is food plants give us grains cereals fruits vegetables and other useful things such as wood leaves bark etc most of the plants take birth from seeds a seed is a part of the plant which can reproduce a similar plant when gets separated from the parent plant structure of a seed a seed consists of the following parts embryo it is the small baby plant that grows into a big plant cotyledons the food of embryo is stored in special seed leaves called cotyledons cotyledons seed coat the outer hard covering that protects the seed is called as seed coat the seed coat has two layers the outer testa and the inner tegmen let's do it take a few kidney beans and soak them overnight after draining water you will find that seed coat is too soft to be removed Now open the seed carefully and see the tiny embryo inside it. Germination of a seed. The process by which a seed grows into a seedling is called germination. Following steps are involved in the process of germination. Seed takes in water causing the inner layer to swell. The cells of embryo divide and grow bigger. As the seed grows bigger, its seed coat bursts open. a tiny root called radical grows downwards and a tiny stem called plumule grows upwards towards the sunlight the plumule grows into a shoot that produces leaves the baby plant grows into an adult plant seed coat radical plumule leaves conditions necessary for germination following are the conditions necessary for germination water Water helps to soften the seed coat so that an embryo can come out of the seed when it is grown. Another important function of water is that it helps to change the food present in the cotyledon to a soluble form which the embryo can use. Air. Air is essential as seeds or plants require carbon dioxide to breathe. Sunlight and warmth. Sunlight and warmth are essential for the baby plant to become active to grow. dispersal of seeds dispersal is the scattering of seeds to far places from the parent plants seeds disperse so that they get enough water air sunlight and space to grow into new plants seeds are dispersed by the following agents wind light weight and small seeds are dispersed by wind the seeds of dandelion cotton hip tage and drumstick fruit have wings on them and are carried away by wind to far off places water seeds and fruits of the plants that grow near water are carried away by water the fruits and seeds of such plants have spongy or fibrous outer covering that helps them to float in water seeds of lotus hydrilla water lily coconut etc are dispersed by water animals animals help in seed dispersal in several ways some of them are listed below human beings and animals eat fruits like cherries and throw away the seeds some seeds with hooks and spikes stick to the hairy skin of animals and are carried away birds swallow some seeds which come out unharmed in their droppings some plants produce their seeds inside fleshy fruits which are later eaten by animals the fruit get digested by the animal but the seeds pass through the digestive tract and are dropped in form of droppings at various other locations some animals like squirrels bury seeds to save them for later use but may not return to get the seed these seeds grow into a new plant explosion some plants have unique ways to disperse their seeds several kinds of plants shoot seeds out of the pods while ripening and thus scatter the seeds peas beans poppy balsam etc are dispersed by explosion fact trivia kapok is soft fluffy stuff that comes from a seed case 
years ago it was used to fill life jackets jackets which are used while swimming because it is light strong and waterproof nowadays modern plastics have replaced it growing plants without seeds some plants reproduce from their body parts such as the root leaf or stem this type of reproduction is called vegetative reproduction let us see some examples of plants that develop from body parts of their parent plants plants like sugarcane rose and money plant can grow from stem cuttings underground stems like ginger onion and potato have buds on them which can grow into new plants plants like sweet potato carrot wood apple and tamarind grow from the roots of their mother plant plants like bryophyllum and begonia grow from the edges of the leaf of their mother plants some plants such as ferns mushrooms and mosses possess spores which grow into new plants by falling on the moist soil origin of tea the popularity of tea descends down to the olden times dating back as 2737 bc the credit of the discovery of tea goes to the second emperor of china shen nang who accidentally discovered the taste and aroma of the tea leaves falling into his cup of hot water presently india is one of the world's largest produ largest producer of tea with close competition with china assam is the birthplace of tea in india tea is prepared from the leaves of tea plant a tea plant can grow up to the height of 9 to 10 meters but it is kept small and bushy by pruning so that it grows more leaves sideways tea leaves are picked and usually dried and seasoned before packing and delivering into the market other plants with foreign origin many plants commonly grown in india have originated from foreign countries such as plum was first grown in china watermelon originated in south africa onion originated in egypt banana and mango came from east asia coffee is the native of ethiopia eucalyptus originated in australia papaya and pineapple originated in america vocabulary cards embryo the small baby plant that grows into a big plant cotyledons the seed leaves in which the food for embryo is stored germination the process by which a seed grows into a seedling vegetative reproduction the process of plant reproduction from root leaf or stem